Hi, this is Tim Martin. For this Team Art Science Geology video series, we will learn about different types of rocks that can be found along the rock cycle. Let's go explore. I'm here in Titus Canyon in Death Valley National Park. And this is a really great example of conglomerate. Conglomerate is a classic sedimentary rock that's made out of round gravel and cobble-sized uh, pebbles. And so you can see here there's these really nice round pebbles that have been cemented together by other minerals forming this larger clastic sedimentary rock. Many times in conglomerates such as this we can see clasts of very different origins. So the browns and yellows and greens are all indicating that the component clasts came from different source regions. The very round shape of the included pebbles in this conglomerate from the Maroon Formation in Colorado indicate that it was deposited in an environment with flowing water. In fact, in this sample, we can see layers indicating different deposition events with fast and slower water. In this sample from Lake Michigan, we can see a great diversity in the included pebbles, indicating that water transported the clasts over some distance. Another unique conglomerate can be found north of El Rito, New Mexico. My son and I rock climbed on the well-cemented conglomerate here. In some places, the included rock provided good handholds, while other holds were formed where a pebble or cobble had eroded out of the matrix rock. Back to Titus Canyon. And here we can see another example of conglomerate. Again, notice the real rounded uh, pebbles that are embedded within the larger rock. Looking up the valley from where I'm standing, these massive boulders and the side of the mountain are all composed of conglomerate. And we can see the round class protruding from the layers, indicating the water environment where it was deposited millions of years ago. Thanks for watching, and I hope you join me again on another video exploring rocks of the rock cycle.